how to use TubeBuddy to increase views free software hey everybody <laughs> welcome to the video we're going to talk about TubeBuddy today you need you need you need TubeBuddy you got to have TubeBuddy if you are doing anything on YouTube if you are posting any videos and you want to get views on the videos you need TubeBuddy in this video I'm going to walk you through some of the things it can do in addition to that I'm going to show you how you can get it absolutely free free is good right I'll tell you about it in the very end now let's jump over to TubeBuddy let's look at my channel and let's see how I can use TubeBuddy here I am at YouTube this is just the basic screen you would see when you log into YouTube but if you notice right up here I have installed TubeBuddy now TubeBuddy is going to be pretty much controlled from here if I click on it you're going to see this whole list this menu pop up right here this top section is already going to be in your YouTube studio so I'm not going to go through each one of these your dashboard your videos live streams playlists comments analytics in real time this is all something that you get with your YouTube studio here where it says extension tools you get all these items by getting tube buddy so let's look at each one I'm gonna start with keyword Explorer and this is where you'd want to start because what keyword Explorer does is it it grades your title it lets you know if your title is gonna work and when I say work what it does is it goes into YouTube and it looks at what people are searching for and it lets you know what your score of that title is so I'm gonna say how to play tennis like a pro okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here now if you notice there's a lot of drop downs down here okay how to play tennis clash like a pro uh, that's probably some game I don't know I'm not a gamer but we're gonna hit explore now when we hit explore it looks all the way through YouTube and it figures out a few things so it says it's poor overall score is poor why is it poor well the search volume is low the competition weighted is kind of high now this weighted competition guys uh, I'm gonna switch to unweighted because what it does is it looks at your channel and the type of videos you do uh, and since my channel is all about how to make money online that would be a poor title for my channel but let's go over here competition uh, it says it's uh, when I go to unweighted here it's gonna give me a different score it says it's 43 if you notice because now it's not looking at my channel any longer so when you're doing your channel you want to use the weighted I'm gonna use unweighted for this demonstration so that we can get a good title so uh, I'm gonna say here tricks um, that pros use and I'm gonna say to play tennis uh, and I'm gonna say uh, like a winner okay so we're gonna try that one and let's see what it says ah look at this I got an excellent now just by changing some of this up now mine says tricks that pros use to play tennis like a winner so now the only thing that's a problem here is I've got a lot of competition right here there's two million videos let me upsize this a little bit so you've got several things we're looking at search volume excellent people are searching for this competition uh, unweighted that's pretty good optimization strength is a problem if you hover over it right here you can click on this and it will tell you this number represents how well optimized the top ranking videos are for the search phrase um, if they are not well optimized then it provides you with an opportunity to break in and rank for the keyword properly optimizing your video putting this keyword in your title description and tags so um, it the optimization strength is actually excellent okay so we're good there now we could put any type of term up here but I just want to show you this keyword Explorer now let's go on to some of the other tools that are in here okay so let's go back into TubeBuddy and the next one is SEO studio so let's click on that now what is SEO studio it says build a perfect searchable title description tags for your video enter target keywords so I'm gonna say survival food uh, and preparedness and see what it does with that I'm gonna click start okay and it says this title here uh, include target keywords in the title uh, it says two buddy SEO scores about a 62 on that all right the next part is your video topic planner so let's go into there uh, and they've got rabbit hunting in here uh, so let's all right let's do that let's let's look at that 
uh, when you click on that it's going to bring you over to the keyword explorer so that's going to kind of bring you back to the same thing there all right uh, tag list uh, this is a list of different ones you can get in here uh, tags and related list uh, and I could I could you know use all these I could copy these I could do whatever I wanted with these okay best time to publish now this is an interesting one here because it actually looks at your channel and when I click on that what it's gonna do is it's gonna look at my statistics on my particular channel it gives me some interesting stuff here uh, but down here you can see percentages uh, I have 28% in the United States, 13.8% India, Philippines, uh, Nigeria, United Kingdom, and there's more in here too. But if you look at this chart they give you right here, this is pretty interesting. This is based on the last 28 days, and of course you can change this for any time period you want. But this tells me when to upload videos. So it says really, see these dark areas here? This is the time that most of my viewers are on YouTube so i would say it looks like uh, 10 a.m uh to 12 p.m would be a good time so i would probably want to upload right before that to get it in there at the right time uh wednesday it's saying that it's 7 a.m you know that's kind of unusual but uh, probably want to post right before that now if you want to extrapolate all this you could say well you know what it looks like i've got a lot at 7 a.m i've got a lot at 9 a.m there's a bunch here at 8 a.m. There's another 7 a.m. I may want to just put everything at 7 a.m. if I'm publishing every single day. If I'm publishing, you know, sporadically one or two days a week, then of course I would look at these. Other things I can look at down here, no subtitles or closed caption, that's 59%. English is 36%. As I scroll down here, it says daily. These are all my times, which are the best ones to use. Um, so those are the recommended upload times right there and if I look at subscribers bell notifications now there's a difference in a subscriber and a subscriber with bell notifications a subscriber subscribes to your channel and they can go to their subscriptions uh, and get it organized and look at the videos that are on their subscriptions however if they actually turn on all notifications what it does is it tells them when I upload a video uh, so let's take a look at my numbers right here mine are at 23.4 okay and and the typical is 10% to 30% so I'm in there you know I'm not as high as I could be but I'm in there uh, subscribers who turned on all notifications for your channel and enabled YouTube notifications um, that's anywhere from 5 to 20% I'm at 11 so I'm kind of like in the middle on all these things right here um, watch time uh, is interesting also this is not subscribed 92% uh, of the people for my watch time are not subscribed so when you're thinking about gee you know I need more subscribers to get more views a lot of views come from people who aren't subscribed now here's my age group right here um, I have 1% female and I have 99% male which is very very interesting but as I scroll down here uh, and I'm I'm in my 60s but my audience is not 18 to 24 year olds this is 63 percent of my audience right here 25 to 34 years old 37 percent of my audience so if we look at these two here 99 percent of my people are from 18 to 34 and very small percentages in here now if i went out further than 28 days of course it would show me more but in the past 28 days that's been my audience which is kind of interesting so let's go back over to tubebuddy again and as you can see there's a website tools right here if you want you can uh, you have a launch pad you have a health report uh, you got valuation competitors brands a b test retention analyzer backups and export uh, canned responses promo materials and search ranking now if i click on any of these it's going to bring me to the tube buddy account that i have which is right here okay and you can see my most recent upload uh, recent upload uh, popular uploads uh, channel page link now this is an interesting one here and I like to use this one this is channel page with a subscription pop-up so when somebody says what is your YouTube channel I give them this link because what happens when they go to this link I'll copy it and I'll show you here real quick okay so it brings them to my page here but if you notice the first thing they get here is confirmed channel subscription 
uh, are you sure you want to subscribe to jr fisher training and you always want to hit subscribe of course mm -hmm. but once they've done that then they're subscribed to the channel so that's a very useful link that they have within tubebuddy and then i've got 13 best trending print on demand products these are some of my top videos right here uh, and it gives you a lot of information but you can find all of this within your tubebuddy panel right here uh, which i just showed you uh, that was promo materials i clicked on you get canned responses backups exports retention uh then they got my account community and support but bottom line is you want to have tubebuddy there's a lot of software out there that will help you optimize your channel but i really think tubebuddy is probably the best one and the one i would recommend guys i hope that was helpful to you i hope you understand tubebuddy a little bit more it does so many more things i don't i don't want to make this a half hour long video i want to give you a short overview uh, but you can get it for free so i would suggest you getting it and going through it yourself um, below in the description i'll have a link to tubebuddy and the cool thing about that is you can get it for free but they also have an upgraded pro version i highly recommend uh, and if you use my link below you can actually get 30 percent off on tubebuddy which that's a pretty darn good deal uh, so check that out also uh, in addition to that don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so hit that subscribe button turn it from red to gray don't forget to ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified each and every single time i go live or if i upload a video i really appreciate you watching this i also have a free course down there you ought to check that out free digital marketing course you can click and get that also all you have to do is click and learn thank you so much for watching this video if you like this content please share it with your friends thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel